Welcome back to Crisco's Corner, unfiltered commentary, not your truth, the real truth. And as always, thank you for your support. Hi folks, welcome back. When I first saw this, I thought this was a Babylon B satire article. Honest, honestly, I did. Honestly. But it's not. Check this out. And MSNBC fails biology, wonders about regulating sperm amid abortion plans. Are you kidding me? When someone who supports abortion suggests that if Republicans are going to ban abortion, it is only fair to regulate sperm. The only appropriate response is to mock such an absurd comparison. Of course. And by the way, Republicans are not banning abortion. Wednesday's Haley Jackson reports on MSNBC took a different approach, however, and suggested that the comparison was completely fair. Are you batshit crazy? Let's read on to more idiocy. Jackson led Capitol Hill correspondent Ali Vitali with remarks from Representative Cory Bush. Oh, Representative Bush. Yeah. You mean the one that wants to defund the police? But at the same time, spends hundreds of thousands of dollars in taxpayer money for security and also some of our campaign money? Oh. And somebody that you spoke with, Ali, today, I know, Congresswoman Cori Bush, framed it in a rather provocative terms about what about the regulation of the sperm. Oh, my God. There's something she talked about, right? And how that is not part of the conversation at this moment. Explain that. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. I really don't. Well, I'm sorry to put you through this. We'll just take a little short clip here. And somebody that you spoke with, Allie, today, I know uh, Congresswoman Cori Bush framed it in rather yeah. provocative terms about what about the regulation of sperm, right? That's something she talked yeah. about and, and how that um, is not part of the conversation at this moment. Explain that. Yeah, I mean, look, it was a provocative way of saying it because we were... Look at the guy standing there office. on the right. He's probably thinking, are you kidding me? These people are batshit crazy. Let's give it a few more seconds. Sorry to put you through this. Is doing an on the record but off camera conversation with a small group of reporters. And she framed it as right now we are looking at regulating uteruses and eggs, but we are not looking at the male side of this equation. And I, I think the comment was in some ways tongue in cheek, but she They're regulating uteruses and eggs. Oh my God. Instead of pointing out the absurdity of Bush's remarks, Vitaly gave them credence. Yeah, I mean, look, it was a provocative way of saying it because we were in her office doing it on, on the record but off the camera conversation. But we're not looking at the male side of this equation. Oh, really? Well, let me ask you this then, Congress member Bush. How much say does the father of the baby that's being aborted have a say on the abortion? Huh? How much? This is how much. Nothing. Nothing. But you have to pay for 18, 20 years if you're the father. That's assuming, of course, that the mother knows who the father is. And I know that sounds really cruel and brutal, but it's just the truth. It's amazing to me. Absolutely amazing. The father has no say in if the mother decides to abort the baby. But now they want to put regulations on sperm? Uh, let's read on. Sorry to put you through this, but, I, you know, the Babylon Bee should sue these major media outlets for doing satirical articles and interviews and calling them news. 
The Babylon Bee does satire, not regular news. No, uteruses and eggs, just like sperm, do not constitute life by themselves. That's basic high school biology that Bush Jackson and Vitaly just failed. Still, Vitaly continued, and I think the comment was some ways tongue-in-cheek, but she made the point there is no conversation right now about the male role in all of this. Because the male has no say. Becomes an indentured servant for the next 20 years if the mother wants and has no say if the baby's aborted. And, of course, Cori Bush is someone whose reaction, I think, is important to highlight because she's one of the just a few members, and by a few, I mean three or four members in this body in the House who have actually accessed abortion care. Why would you volunteer something so personal, as you say, in private as abortion and admit you had one as, as a sitting Congress member? These people are nuts. But Taylor then recounted an interview she did with Bush and other Democrats in 2021. And one of those other Democrats was Barbara Lee. And that interview led Vitaly to abandon any pretense of journalism and go into full activist mode. And there was palpable fear in her voice when she talked to me about that last year. The fear of going back to that because this doesn't ban abortion, whatever the court decides. All it does is make it less safe and more restricted, and it makes it harder for women who will still turn to that care but just not be able to get it in the same way they do now. Meanwhile, the party of science, remember that, follow the science. And their media supporters apparently do not know the difference between sperm, eggs, fetuses, and babies. This segment was sponsored by Walgreens, where my mother gets all of her prescriptions, but I can't talk her out of doing it there. This is real. This isn't a satire Babylon B. These people are crazy. Just nuts. Loco. For our, my Hispanic friends out there. Mucho loco. Unbelievable. I, I just... I keep saying that unbelievable because I don't know what word to use. Maybe my command of the English language isn't good enough. This is all real, folks. These are the same people that are in charge, either directly or indirectly, the largest economy in the entire world, the most powerful military in the entire world, and govern over over 300 million people. And, and this is what she comes up with? The problem is nut bars like Cori Bush are in such, such deep blue Democratic congressional districts. No matter what they say or do, a Democrat will always win that seat. Now, it might not be Cori Bush, but as she accumulates more and more millions of dollars to use in her re-election campaign, I'm sure she'll be fine. And that's the morons that talk like this, the ones that have absolutely no fear of the voters in their congressional district. Talk about sperm. You know, maybe Colbert can have, like he had the 10 dancing syringes, remember that? Maybe he'll have the 10 dancing sperm on his next show. And you know what? If anybody from that show hears that, that concept or that idea, these idiots will probably do it. They did the dancing syringes. Holy. <laughs> Until the next time. <laughs> I'm sorry. Until the next time. Goodbye. And good luck.